Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to talk about how to streamline your flow simulation engineering database. So I'm in 2015, and um, if we go to the flow engineering database, on the flow simulation tab, it's found here. We get the engineering database. If you prefer, you can also go to Tools, Flow Simulation, and then to Tools, Engineering Database. Each go the same place. Um, the first thing uh, I, I'd like to talk about is just a very simple thing. And this is a very, very extensive database. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, first thing is you can make this um, you know, much larger just to view uh, what's in it. Now the other part of streamlining your engineering database is you may not be using you know, a lot of these categories. Um, let's say you're an analyst um, and you never do radiation, right? So uh, we can come under file and we can check or uncheck a lot of these different categories. So I'm going to turn off radiative surfaces and I'm going to turn off radiation spectra and I'm going to turn off uh, view cities because we don't need uh, view factors uh, for position of radiation for the sun and so you know we can make this a, a much more simplified database and then if I'm not doing uh, you know HVAC tracers let's turn that off so uh, we get down to just you know the basic stuff of what we're using every day and and you can turn that stuff back on now the other thing is uh, a lot of times you know when we go in let's go into a material I'll pick a gas and predefine acetone. <clears throat> so the units um, in this database are in uh, kilograms uh, per mole. So uh, if I wanted to see perhaps uh, not SI units, but maybe a different unit system uh, throughout my whole engineering database, it's just really easy to come up to units and I can set, hey, let's look at um, you know IPS. Our, our USA okay and now we're looking at pounds per mole so um, that follows through for all the categories so you know set it up set your units what you want to see um, and then um, you know save those settings uh, once you've done that so they're retained this is Tim Roberts at Go Engineer I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video